I was born in 1944 in Pontiac General Hospital. My mother had seven children. I'm the youngest of seven. And when I was born, she was pretty close to 50. So I have nieces and nephews that are old, much older than me, four and five years older than me. So as I said, I'm the baby, but I'm the last left in my siblings. I have nobody left. Um, as a child growing up, I was five years old. I remember going to church with my mom and dad. Of course, we were good Baptist people. Uh, I remember when I was five years old going to church and going into kindergarten and I was presented with a New Testament with my name in it when I was five years old. I still have that Testament today. So, um, went to church all my life as a child growing up with my parents in the Baptist church until I married and then me and my husband went to the Baptist church and he passed away in 2012 and I remarried in 2015 to an Adventist. Strangely enough, I knew nothing, nothing about the Adventist church. However, I had been going to church with him. He, at that time, was living in Chincoteague, three hours from me. And he would come every weekend. And we would go to the Adventist church in Williamsburg on Saturday. And Sunday, we'd go to my church, my Baptist church. Uh, that went on for about a year and a half, maybe two years, till he asked me to marry him. And we got married in the Williamsburg Church. We decided that this is where we needed to plant our lives and get involved in church. So we started going to Williamsburg and have had such a, a wonderful experience there. And I remember my pastor from the Baptist church said to me, well, what is so wonderful about that church? Why, why are you doing this? And I told him, I said, you know, it, it's not really that much different from the, ba the Baptist church. We both believe in baptism by immersion. We both believe there's only one way to heaven through Jesus Christ. We both believe in prayer. Now, the only thing that they don't do that we believe is they believe you go immediately to heaven or hell. And that was an eye-opening for me. And um, you wouldn't have a woman pastor in a Southern Baptist church, which that was an eye-opening also for me. However, I have learned so many lessons in the Adventist church that I know are true to Scripture. And... I know they are because it's not like I listen to the pastor and he says this and this and this. There's scripture to back it up every single time. So my husband that I'm married to now is uh, born and raised in South Africa. So, and his father was a Adventist pastor. So uh, when we got married, he was the oldest of six, so I had no family left, and now I have family again with his family, which has been such a blessing. And I have such a blessing with the Williamsburg church family. If you want to find a congregation that will love you no matter what, that's where you belong.